Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to do object detection using mass RCNN and we are going to use PyTorch for this video. So what you need to do is to first have the image. I'm having the doggo.jpg, which you can see on the screen right now. So I'll be importing the basic libraries first. So I have imported torch, torch vision and imported tor uh, torch vision from torch vision transforms as T then from PIL image CV2 and the patch. So the first thing that we need to do is to download the image or not the image the model. So for that I'm going to say torch vision dot models dot detection dot mask RCNN underscore resnet 50 dot FPN underscore FPN and in the weights we are going to say default. So D F E U L T and we'll hit shift and enter. So this ideally should download the image and uh, not the image download the model as you can see it has been downloading the model. Now what we need to do is we need to import the image but before that we need to say model.eval. So what this is going to do is put the mo model into evaluation mode okay which means no fine tuning no training nothing. So what I need to do now is to get the image so I'm going to say image img equal to image dot open that is from PIL and I have to pass the path. So I will say copy path and then I will paste it here and shift enter. Now what I need to do is I need to first transform the image into tensors. So first I'm going to say transform is equals to capital T dot to tensor. So basically it will only be converting the PIL image to the PyTorch tensor and I'm going to say IG which is a variable transform and we are going to pass the image that's img so i'm going to hit shift and enter now what i need to do is i need to do the prediction so i'll say from uh, with torch dot no grad so we don't want the gradients and i'm going to say pred equal to model and then pass ig and hit shift and enter okay so this will um, do the prediction it generally takes less than 10 seconds 6 7 seconds at max so it took 7 seconds now what i'm going to do is i'm going to display pred okay so again a lot of output but definitely the i'll tell you what this is so last one is masks as you can see masks which we, which we will actually be using for this tutorial then there is scores there is labels and these are the bounding boxes okay I'll not be using scores, labels and bounding boxes because then it will become a part of faster RCN. And if I'm going to show you first, I'll take zero because it is a list as you can see over here. It starts with a square bracket and I'm going to say keys because this is a dictionary inside the list. So and there is only one element. Okay. So as you can see, there are boxes, there are labels, there are scores and there is masks. So we will be using only masks. However, I'm going to show you just for reference what these labels and all of these things are so that we have a proper understanding. So I'm going to say labels and copy this and paste it. And here I'm just going to say scores. Okay. So what will happen is you can see the label is 18. The first label is 18. 18 corresponds to dog. Here you can see two. Two corresponds to bicycle. 64 truck. So uh, I think uh, 64 is truck. I'm not really sure. I'll, we will see in this in a minute. So what I'm saying is if you see in this image, you have a dog, which is 18 uh, to uh, bicycle. We have a bicycle and then we also have uh, a truck. So the thing is that you can see over here 99.66 or rather 0 0.99. So this is in uh, decimal. So we will multiply it by 100. So 99.66 is the confidence score of the first label that is the model is 99.66 percent sure that there is a dog and so on and so forth so what i'm going to do now is actually try to see how many predictions are there okay so as you can see torch 29 so 29 predictions are there so what i'm going to do i'm only going to take the masks so i'm going to say uh, spread of zero masks and i'm going to keep it another variable masks only okay so now I'm going to print this. So as you can see, some values are there. Now it is a tensor, which means tensor, which means we can print the shape. 
So as you can see over here, 29, as I said over here, 29. So 29 objects are detected and for each object there is one mask. So let me take you through the first mask, okay? Now obviously this is dimension 1, so I don't think it will be very important. So I'm just going to say mask equal to masks and we'll be taking only the first one. So 0, 0, okay? And I'm going to write here mask. So as you can see over here, the tensors have been printed and if you see the shape, so I'm trying to get the shape over here. It is 576 cross uh, 6, uh, 786 or 768. So what this actually is, if I print here unique, you will see something very interesting. So you can see there is no one value or two value. There are so many values. Now the way it is arranged is, let's say um, since we are doing it for the dog, that is the first image, the first mask, what will happen is in the image, wherever there is the dog, you see in the right side, you will find the segmentation. That is what this mask is. All the values that are in the white region, that is that is overlapping with the dog. Those values will be really, really high. That is close to one. As you can see over here, these values are close to one. The last one, 9.99 into 10 to uh, whatever this is into 10 to the power minus one, which is almost 0 0.9999, which is almost one. This is again 0 0.999, almost one. This is 0 0.999, almost one. So these values are wherever the mask is white, that is on top of the dog. But you see over here, these values, this is zero. This is very close to zero, 4.7645 into 10 to the power minus seven, which is almost close to zero. Even this is very, very close to zero, which basically means that these values are very far away. Okay. So what happens in the boundary region, you know, wherever, uh, or let's say the region, which is in the neighborhood of the dog. So these values will be somewhere in between. Okay. So the way we are going to get it is, the way we are going to get the mask of the dog in this case is by doing this thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say um, mask. So what I'm going to do again, we are doing the same thing. So mask is equals to masks zero comma zero as you can see over here, but I'm going to add one condition. I'm going to say all the values, as you can see, all the values that are greater than 0 0.5. So I assume since we are doing it for the dog, all values that are on the top of the segmentation of the dog, those values will be greater than 0 0.5 and rest everywhere. It will be closer to zero. Okay. So this is the way we are going to get the, uh, uh, segmentation area. Okay. So I'm going to hit shift and enter. Now in order to get the dog mask, what I'm, what I have to do is dog mask equal to, so I will say mask. Now this was in PyTorch. So I have to convert it into NumPy. Then I have to convert this into u8, uint8 so that we have an image, basic image. And remember, whenever we are going to do this, all these values. Okay, before that, I'm going to show you. Now, if you print mask and then do unique, okay, you will get true and false. So false is zero and true is one. So this was, you can see over here earlier, the mask was having different values here. It has only two values that is false and true, which basically means zeros and ones. And that is why when you do numpy and as type u int, you will get zeros and ones. Okay. Now zero is fine, but one is also very, very black because again, this is a grayscale image. So in order to scale that I'm going to multiply it with by 255. Now zero remains, remains zero. But one becomes 255 because anything uh, zero multiplied by anything is zero, but one multiplied by 255 is equals to 255. So now we have a binary mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit shift and enter. So if I can show you right now, I'm going to show you the dog mask and I'm going to hit shift and enter. So as you can see over here, the mask is available to us. Okay. And rest all the areas are black. Now, what if I need the actual image in this? Okay. So the way I'm going to get the actual images, first I have to get the image. So I'm going to say IgG, which is the image of the dog. Let me import the image. So cv2.imread and from here I'm going to pass the dog path, doggo image path. Okay. And this will read the image. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a pre-built or rather inbuilt cv2 function. So I'm going to say final image of fin image is equals to cv2 dot bit wise and okay. And I'm going to pass igg again igg and the mask I'm going to pass dog mask. 
okay so i am going to have the dog mask and then finally i am going to show you the image so i am going to say cv2 pin underscore image and let me run this so as you can see over here the dog is there you can see easily see the dog but rest everything is black which means we have segmented the dog however you will see there are some exterior values the neighboring values you know very in close neighbor to the uh, to the dog this is what i was saying that these values over here can be actually changed so these values are somewhere related to uh, or uh, close proximity of 0.5 why because that's why they are here now what happens if i increase the threshold over here so we were saying earlier 0.5 let me say 0.7 okay you will see some minor changes okay but if you increase see you get you if you you know you have a try to have a pictorial um let's say memory of this image you can see especially the boundaries okay the boundaries should change once i run all these cells so i'm gonna say here shift enter and then do the same thing a couple of times now you can see that area that extra area over here has reduced but you can also see some of the image has also gone so this is a trade-off that we have to do and you can also do it for other um what to say classes so instead of zero i'm gonna write one okay and do the same thing okay so but that will not yeah so as you can see this was occluded by the bicycle and some of bicycle is there now if you want to get more of that bicycle what you need to do is you need to reduce the threshold and then do the same thing um almost a, a little bit more of the bicycle has come okay if you reduce it further you'll get some more let's try for the next one i think this was for truck so i have changed that to two from one to two okay it was for the motorcycle oh yeah for a motorcycle whatever so i was not very sure about the truck i think the fourth one or fifth one is truck let's see i'm converting it to three and then doing it one more time yeah you can see the truck so you can see this is how you get the segmentation masks so i hope you understood the video and bye